when we're in the middle of this class. Um, but there's tons and tons of research out there and science on this particular topic. And while I'm going to touch on it, just like the very surface of it, my goal for this is actually to simplify that and to kind of make it chewable, um, digestible. Um, I found some information, like a whole PowerPoint that was, was already made. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming me. I don't want to overwhelm you. I really want to simplify it. That's my goal. But there is a load of resource uh, or of tools and research and, and scientific kind of evidence to show how this is all true. What I'm saying is all true. And I'm happy to link you to those things. Um, but I'm not going to get super deep into all of that. I'm going to really try to just make it something that you can use, something that's useful for you. If you've registered, you're automatically going to get a link with a download, a printable that is um, what we use for homeschooling specifically, and it can apply to any kind of schooling, um, but tips and tricks for that. So while I won't go a ton into detail in this pr presentation, I will send you that resource so you can um, print that out and kind of have that um, just on hand to be really easy um, to start using the oils in your regular routine. Um, and everything I'm sharing is good for children and for adults. Um, so it's just that right now, a lot of children and I guess adults too are going back to school and, um, adults are dealing with kids going back to school and dealing with kids kind of in a new, new way. Um, particularly if they're virtually schooling or, or starting to homeschool for the first time. So, um, I'm really excited about this information because it's been such a, it's been such a tool for us using essential oils and aromatherapy and herbs and whatnot for our health and for, our, you know, emotional and, um, brain needs. So um, I'm hoping that you're going to gain a lot and, um, and be able to really um, put it to good use. So let me see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share Google. Now, if somebody will just put a shout out in the chat and tell me um, what it's looking like for you. Is it looking like a presentation? This is what we did last time and it, and it seemed to work. So um, hold on a second. Um, I could see the chat a second ago. Uh-oh, here we go. Okay. The chat disappeared, so now I can't see if it's working. Um, but I think it is. If somebody could just Facebook message me and tell me if it's not, um, I would appreciate it. But anyway, so tonight we're talking about essential oils for the brain, tips, tricks, Tips and tricks for using um, aromatherapy for focus, emotions, stress, a little bit about the immune system, and just generally overall balance. And there's a lot that I didn't include tonight, which maybe we should have a part two. I don't know. We'll see how far we make it. But um, I just think that this information is so important and that there's a lot of little things that we can do that add up to major things. And, um, and so we're really going to um, just hit on the oil side of things tonight. Um, but there's more. First of all, who am I? I'm Lacey Graham. I'm a certified holistic health coach. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I'm a homesteader and I'm a self-sufficiency advocate. So um, that's a mouthful, but it's true. All of those things are true. I would love to stay connected with you if you're not already connected with us. Um, if you want to um, pop into the schoolhouseoils.com, you can kind of get a feel for what our overall business looks like. Um, schoolhouselife.com actually con connects you directly with our self-sufficiency community. If you're not already in there, I think most of you are, but if you're not, we'd love to have you in there. We talk about oils. We talk about homeschooling. We talk about homesteading we talk about gardening and and all the things that kind of make us feel um self-sufficient so would love to have you there um it's a great community i really love it i think i think it's got a great great vibe and um i get good feedback from it all the time so if you're not there please join us um, if you are there please be active and share and talk and chat and enjoy um instagram if you want to follow along i take some pictures of the farm and of the oil sometimes and the kids and things that we have going on around us um, I like it as a place to share. So if you want to jump in there, you can. Um, and then we do have a podcast. It's Schoolhouse Life podcast. Um, you can find it on iTunes or any way to listen. I think um, Spotify, yeah, everywhere that podcasts are streamed, I think for the most part. Um, and YouTube, we have lots of videos that we've shared over the years, um, tons and tons. So um, check it out if you're looking for ways to hear my voice more. <laughs> Um, okay, what brings me here? So first of all, I believe in plants. Um, I believe in creation, maybe before I believe in plants. I believe we are more powerful than we think we are. Um, I believe that it's not that complicated and I believe we all deserve to know. Um, so that's why I'm here because I'm, those things are all important to me. And um, 
I want to be a messenger of all of this because um, they've had such a powerful role to play in my life and um, and even in my faith. And so I think that that can be something that you all maybe can benefit from. Um, okay, quality matters. So before I start talking about oils, I do want to just like briefly touch on this. Uh, many of you already know um, doTERRA is the best. <laughs> all right. So we have chosen to partner with doTERRA all those years ago and continue to because they continue to, to impress us and they continue to raise the bar. So um, what does that even mean? So first of all, as a homesteader, I'm really, really aware of what it takes to grow good food, what it takes to go, grow good plants, what it takes to grow things in a healthy way, in a way that's good for the land, in a way that will um, be good for the land for many, many years to come. And also in a way that's good for the farmer because that, that part often gets overlooked. We say, oh, we want organic, but do we pay attention to the farmer? Is he getting paid enough? Um, is he being taken advantage of? Um, doTERRA does not take advantage of farmers. doTERRA actually wants to lift farmers up. They want to reconnect with people who've been farming for hundreds of years, many, many generations, and help them earn a, a legitimate living in the face of big agriculture kind of taking over the world, literally. So co-impact sourcing is all about that. Co-impact sourcing is all about um, connecting with legitimate people and helping them be able to grow their farms and do this business in a way that earns an actual income and is sustainable and profitable and all of those things. So you can learn a lot about that on YouTube or on the doTERRA website. And um, it's something, it's a movement that's very near and dear to my heart. And I, um, and it, it makes the biggest difference in the quality of our oils, because you know, when you're using an oil from doTERRA, you are supporting um, the, the economic survival of a farmer somewhere who loves what they do for a living. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Knowing it's pure is really, really, really important. You cannot expect to get the same benefits from something that you buy off the shelf that you would get from the oils that are the quality that doTERRA offers. So, and that comes really down to testing and, and knowing that the market is kind of twisted and that you have to rise above that. So the FDA does not really regulate the essential oil market. And that's become a major problem because people want essential oils and so they go and they see, oh, Walmart has them or oh, Aldi's has them or oh, Best Buy has them, okay? Um, those are not what we're talking about tonight. Those are fragrance oils, fragrances, and even if they say 100% pure therapeutic, please be very, very careful because it's just not regulated. So they really can put whatever they want on the bottle. They can test it once or twice, maybe somewhere in the process, but doTERRA is very, very committed to testing every single, um, every single vial of our essential oil um, in, in many, many, many different ways. Um, and they're staying on top of how the market is changing and on, on top of how people are trying to take advantage of the consumer. Um, and they are, um, they ensure that we get an oil that is gonna work every time as it should and you can trust it and, and it's safe and effective, okay? Um, supporting local, that through using doTERRA essential oils, you're connected with a wellness advocate, a, a person who will support you. Um, doTERRA knows that by selling their oils through individuals who have partnered with them, doTERRA can um, best support their customers by giving them education, personalized attention, and a community. Um, that kind of support is impossible to find in a tradi traditional retail setting. So those are some of the reasons that I love doTERRA and that I, it makes a big difference about um, using our oils versus um, anything else that you might find and supplements for that matter as well. So herbal supplements and that kind of thing. All right, before we move on, if you don't know what essential oils are, we do some really great intro classes, and this is sort of a little bit beyond intro class, but um, we're going to still keep it basic so that anyone, whether you're new or you're an old timer, will learn and, and appreciate the information that I share. Um, but there are three ways to use the oils aromatically, just inhaling, using a diffuser, you can make your own room sprays. If you're smelling something, you're using that thing aromatically, whether you want to or not. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, when you smell something, you're, it's getting into your lungs, right? You're breathing it in and it's getting into your lungs as well as into your nose and straight to your brain. And that's what we're going to talk a lot about today. Um, so using the oils aromatically is a really powerful way and probably what we're mostly going to talk about today. 
topically, this is applying the oils to your skin. Um, that you can do neat, you can that which just means directly onto the skin without dilution. You can dilute, which is a great tool as well. Um, you can create roller bottles, you can buy roller bottles that are easy to apply topically. Um, and you can target specific areas really, really well with using oils topically. Internally, um, this again is, all of these three ways, in my opinion, are specific to using the quality of doTERRA, but internally, especially, um, you can put them in your water, you can put them on your tongue, you can put them in a veggie cap, um, and this can be a really powerful way to um, deal with things like inflammation, digestion, um, even neurological things. So, and actually there are some studies about using lavender um, internally, essential oil internally is actually more effective for promoting good sleep habits and uh, reducing feelings of depression um, than just smelling it aromatically. So there are some really great benefits to using the oils internally versus the other two ways. So um, just keep that in mind. We're not going to talk a ton about using the oils um, internally tonight. Other uses for oils. So while we're talking about brain health today, um, there are lots of ways that you can use the oils and reasons you would want to. I mean, pretty much any health condition, there are oils that would benefit um, immune system function, um, inflammation, sleep and anxiety, cleansing and detoxing, and digestion, all really powerful ways that you can use the oils. Now, the immune system we'll talk a little bit about today. Um, I'm actually going to just go ahead and hit on it because I didn't include it a lot in our PowerPoint, but I do think it's an important element, especially if you're sending your kid back to school, especially in a time like this, where what we need to do most and first and foremost is support our immune systems. Um, and our, this is a pretty easy thing to do, actually. With essential oils, you make this a part of your rhythm and it becomes like, it's just, it makes you stronger and you don't, you find you don't get as sick um, or you don't get sick at all as frequently. And that's really our goal, right? Really our goal is to, um, be exposed and move forward without coming down with like the worst case scenario, right? Okay, so On Guard is a blend. I don't have it in my, on my PowerPoint further um, after this at all, but it is definitely probably the number one On Guard or immune boosting oil blend. It's just a really powerful, potent blend of immune boosting essential oils and can be used topically. Um, our routine for that is actually to apply it to our feet in the evening before we go to bed at nighttime. And if there's like a real threat, then maybe down the back a few times, we have on guard hand cleaning um, mist as well, which is a really, really great tool and can, um, can be used. We take that, I have that in my purse and in the car, and we use that regularly when we're out and about these days. And we always do, but um, especially now we're a little bit more um, eager <laughs> to use it, right? Um, and then you can do that before, before you go into a situation as well. So I'll apply it maybe behind my ears, um, on my feet again, just kind of to create this little bubble. Um, and it really does that because if it's, you know, if it's on you and that those air, those um, oil molecules are around you, they're actually going to do a good job of like cleaning the air around you at the same time as, you know, giving you the immune boost, boost on a cellular level. So, um, so we really love On Guard and um, that's, I'm, I'm done talking about it now. <laughs> okay. So now to the brain. All right. So um, I love this image. I feel like it's a really kind of good um, overview of how essential oils work, you know, when we're breathing them in. Um, your sense of smell affects your limbic system and is the most direct way to get some of the benefits of essential oils. So when inhaled, the compounds are picked up by tiny nerves that send an immediate signal to the brain and the systems that moderate our bodies. Now, those systems that moderate our bodies are really just the hormone systems, right? Hormones are kind of the um, they're like the communication throughout our whole body. Now, when somebody says my hormones are imbalanced, that can mean any myriad kind of different range of things. So like diabetes, for example, is a hormone imbalance because you start talking about, um, insulin, right? Insulin is a hormone and that is not balanced. Um, when people talk about thyroid imbalances that often, um, has to do with, you know, overuse of the thyroid or, you know, the thyroid just not um, functioning appropriately. Maybe it's just tired. Maybe it's just stressed. 
Um, and a lot of times that comes from being overstressed, which means that we're exerting a lot or, or producing a lot more cortisol than we ought to be producing. Um, and this can come back to a lot of different things. It can have to do with what we eat. It can have to do with our uh, levels of anxiety and stress on a regular basis. Um, and fear for sure plays a major role in what our hormones are doing and therefore the rest of our body. So, um, so really the goal of tonight's class is to leave us feeling like, okay, we can, we can manage those things a little bit and have some say over how they impact our overall health. No one, I'm checking to see if anybody is like, oh no, the PowerPoint's not working. I guess it's working. <laughs> um, anyway, so the limbic system is really like that, like direct connection to our brain. It's what, um, what is used like the overall kind of hormone um, function system. Okay, um, you can see the olfactory bulb is a really uh, prevalent and important part right there where filtering and processing of the scent begins. Um, and then the pineal glands kind of in the back, although they kind of say right here, um, no, this is a pituitary gland, it's right here. Um, so the third eye, if you've ever heard anybody talk about the third eye, I mean, the pituitary gland is um, where some essential oils can cross the blood brain barrier. It's where, it's just where, you know, lots of things are triggered. So it is a powerful place to apply oils even. Um, <clears throat> the pineal gland is where some essential oils can cross the blood brain barrier as well. So you kind of got the front and the back. Um, the sympathetic chain, which is um, the parasympathetic system is like everything kind of working together in your nervous system. Um, um, the thyroid can the thyroid essential oils can stimulate an underactive thyroid, which can be the cause of things like depression and fatigue for sure. And that is in the neck area. So if you're dealing with like specifically like adrenal fatigue or um, just issues of kind of just feeling overall tiredness, this can be a really important place to not just apply oils, but even to just tap it, even to just tap it and kind of wake it up a little bit. Okay. Um, and then the hypothalamus is a hormone control center that regulates everything from appetite to energy levels and can be stimulated by essential oils. So we have this really powerful tool um, and the ability to stimulate our, our all that whole system um, on a very chemical level. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and the amygdala is not in this picture, um, but I think we're going to talk about that in a second. Okay, so that means that we can control things like emotions, um, behavior, focus, and anxiousness. Now, I want to talk about emotions and what they are um, before we move forward. Um, and this is true for you. This is true for your children. So emotions come up and out. And um, often, you know, the feelings that we feel have more to do with what we're experiencing and less to do with how, who we are. So a lot of times we associate how we feel about things um, with who we are and sure they're kind of an element of that but they're not stuck in stone they're not like they're not um in in any kind of like permanent state um what hap happens is that through our lives we're exposed and experience different things and those different things create memories um, that become entrenched in our neurological system and this actually is something that they've recently and they're starting to discover more and more through science that that those are things that are actually passed down from generation to generation. So, um, you know, it, it, for good reason too, because if you think about us being out in like the wild, um, you know, if our mother experienced the situation where her baby was too close to a fire, now, okay, we have that experience and when it, our kids get too close to a fire, we automatically get a little panicked, right? Um, so it's like this survival tool that, that comes from generations before us. Now, generations before us have experienced some things that may or may not have an accurate um, play into what we need to actually do to survive, or um, there are things kind of embedded in those, um, in those codes or in that neurological system that maybe we don't actually benefit from, from perpetuating, right? Um, and there's lots of research that kind of connects things like, you know, people who've experienced severe trauma, pass that on through generations in one way or another. And emotions are just one of the ways that that kind of presents. And sometimes you might have experienced this when, when maybe you experience something that doesn't seem like it should trigger you to feel emotional, and it does. Um, and oils can do this a lot. A lot of times oils can trigger memories from childhood that you didn't even remember you had. Um, 
And then of course, emotions can play into behavior and, um, and our environment can also play a huge role in all of that um, for multiple reasons. And what I love about oils is it gives us this opportunity to sort of control our environment a little bit more. A lot of times we don't put much thought into what the room smells like. We think maybe about the lighting or the temperature, but we get, um, we sort of don't think about the smell, but things like cleaners, um, fungicides, um, bleaches, um, mold, that is in a lot of classrooms can really can really hinder a child's ability to absorb information and this is true across the board if you think about a hospital setting um excuse me i'm having a a moment anyway not crying I'm, i've got something in my throat okay anyways we should be good i might have to get a drink of water but it is true that our environment impacts us. And if we can use the oils in our environment, it's like bringing the garden inside. It's like um, sort of covering up any of those nasty things, breaking them down, getting, them, getting rid of them, and moving on. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think um, there's something in the air that's getting into my throat. Okay. So focus, um, anxiousness, all of those things. Moving on. Okay, here's our amygdala picture. Located in the temporal lobe of the brain. My child is giving me water, I think. She's so good, she heard me from the other room. Anyway, located in the temporal lobe of the brain, the amygdala helps trigger the flight, fight or flight response. Um, so that fight or flight is, a lot of people talk about it. Thank you, babe. Um, that'll be better, okay. Um, it helps trigger the fight or flight. So the fight or flight is that state where we're like highly ele elevated. We've got adrenaline rushing, right? Um, and it's the release of this cortisol, this adrenaline, all these different things. And um, when we live in that high state all the time, it can be really, really traumatic to our bodies, overall well-being. Um, and people don't often recognize that. People think, you know, oh, I'm, I have a high stress job. I'm like, you know, but I'm accomplishing things and I'm getting places, right? And that, you know, can be great. But if we don't balance that out with some amount of bringing ourselves back down from that, um, it'll start to impact our health in a lot of different ways. It can present as digestive issues, sleeping. A lot of times people who have high stress jobs or high stress just lifestyles struggle to sleep. And it's this cycle that it's really hard to get off of. Um, being able to reduce this feeling will reduce the toxic effect of it, like too much cortisol, um, and that can be for sure a detriment to our health. Um, we need more serotonin, which is like the antidote to the cortisol, the balance, the happy hormone. It's the one that makes you feel just joyful and, and happy and satisfied and all of those things. I um, mean, we need that and melatonin for sleep. Um, and reduced anxiety for better moods, for less digestive pains, and even reducing inflammation. Because the more that we stay in that kind of stress state of mind, um, the more our body suffers in all of these different ways. And it actually releases hormones and, and causes inflammation and things like that. It's kind of nuts how all of this kind of, kind of pans out, right? Um, breathing oils um, can be a major benefit because it benefits the brain quickly. And it also will help benefit the rest of the brain, the body and all of our cells. Um, so I wanted you guys to, to kind of think about what are some things that set off that fight or flight? Um, I think it's really important. And I want you to think about it for both you and for your child. Um, what sets off fight or flight? Now, the first thing that came to mind for me was scrolling Facebook. Scrolling Facebook, you know, you'll see something that triggers something that makes you so angry, right? Um, and you feel like you have to say something or you just get mad or just upset or fearful. Right now, I feel like fear is the major thing. So that for me definitely has um, triggers that fight or flight. Um, what else? Maybe playing games, maybe, um, maybe watching sporting events, um, maybe a work situation, maybe a family relationship. Um, Maybe somebody calls you out on something or says something you just don't like. And anyway, there's all of these different things that play into that, right? Driving, of course, it can happen. So for kids, what are some things that might set off their sense of fight or flight? And of course, as parents, we maybe try to do our best to not 
um, put them in these situations a lot, but it still happens. And some kids are better at um, their brain function and neurological systems are better at interpreting stimuli. Um, and some of them aren't. And children are definitely not as good at interpreting stimuli as adults are, right? And so they're still learning. And so some of the things that maybe don't seem like they should put them in fight or flight do. Um, nightmares, for example, um, getting yelled at, being bullied, getting yelled at by siblings. Um, there's lots of, lots of different triggers, maybe not doing schoolwork well, maybe not feeling smart enough. Um, so there's lots of different reasons why I can think of that for sure. Maybe you guys are typing some in the chat. I don't know. But feel free to share. I'd be, I'm really interested to see what you uh, would think. Okay. All right, this is just another image that kind of helps you understand how the, the physiological effects of, of aromatherapy. So you can see the vapor goes into the nose, it triggers these olfactory nerves, which trigger the limbic system, which includes the amygdala and hippocampus, which both are really directly related to memory, to learning, and to emotions. Um, and then you've got the hypothalamus and the cortex, which is where we, the deeper parts of our brain, the intellectual processes where we start to piece things together and puzzle solve and that kind of thing. And then you've got the pituitary gland, which are directly connected to sex glands, adrenal glands, um, and then the controlling of aggression and sexual responses are all kind of part of this same system. And how powerful is it that we can take an oil and trigger this, this kind of series of events? I think that's, I think it's just the coolest thing, right? Without even putting anything on our body or in our body, just smelling it alone can do this. And it actually has probably one of the more powerful impacts than, um, than anything else. And a lot of times um, when people don't like the taste of food, for example, it has more to do with the experience they experienced when they ate that food for the first time than it does with the food itself. Okay, so um, think about that as a parent too. Like when your child is tasting something for the first time, are they enjoying the experience? Because a lot of our experience of eating is actually smelling and more of it is smelling than anything else really, right? I might argue that there are a few textures that I really can't stand, but <laughs> for the most part, I can get past texture if the smell is really, really good, right? So be thinking about that. If you feel like, oh, I might have such a picky eater, maybe it's, uh, maybe the approach when eating needs to be a little bit different so they don't feel maybe so pressured or um, like food is a punishment or um, anything along those lines. And I'm thinking for myself too, no judgments, but, um, but if you have a picky eater, perhaps it has more to do with their experience eating um, than it does with the food itself. I don't know. That actually is new information for me too, <laughs> just thinking about it. Um, okay, talking about how quickly the oils work, and this is one of the reasons they work so well in uh, the setting of learning and brain function, because it's quick, it's fast. Um, and one of the other things we'll talk about in a little bit is that most things actually cannot cross into the actual brain. And so the way that things, um, the way that the, the brain is just super protected, super locked down. So most uh, medicines, if not all medicines, cannot cross that barrier. Um, but the oils can be actually absorbed very quickly and easily um, because they are made from the same things that our body's made of. And so like just oils and proteins, and that's what goes through. Um, they're through a lipid barrier the oils can pass because they are uh, they mix well. Oil and oil mixes well together. Um, okay, 22 seconds is how long it takes um, the molecules of the essential oils to reach the brain. That is very very quickly, right? Um, so then we've got two minutes, and they'll be found in the bloodstream. And this is just from smelling it. And then 20 minutes, they'll affect every cell of the body. So the added benefits of using essential oils, if you don't already know, they can deal with things like headaches and indigestion, indigestion inflammation, I mean, on and on and on. Um, because they're balancers, the body is triggered to clean up its act. So oils don't isolate or interfere, they balance and support. So what that means is, is instead of um, performing a function for your body, they just stimulate your body's normal function to work as it should, instead of doing something um, and it's really one of the reasons or the major reason why it's not something that you can you can over um overdose on 
or really do too much of. Of course, there's some like limit, limitations and guidelines around how much essential oil to use and when and where and all of those things. Um, but for the most part, you don't have to worry. I mean, you could drink a whole bottle of essential oil and while your stomach might hurt, um, it probably would pass pretty quickly and it wouldn't, you wouldn't get an overdose because your body is like, okay, that's all I need is like eating food. It's like nutrition. Um, and what I don't need, I'm just going to get rid of. Okay. And this is true for children as well. Um, really some of the rules about using essential oils is about kind of getting the most out of them. Skin irritation is one of the major, um, or major, I say major, it's like the most um, complained about side effect of using essential oils. And that would just look like a sensitivity and generally can come back. You can come back with the carrier oil and fix it. So, um, so yeah, skin irritation is like the biggest risk when it comes to using the essential oils. I um, mean, there's lots of ways to avoid that or to deal with it after the fact if that becomes an issue. Um, but unlike most modern medicines, you have come with a long, a laundry list of side effects. Um, we just don't have that much to worry about. I just thought this was an interesting fact. In 1989, it was discovered that the amygdala plays a major role in storing and releasing of emotional trauma. Um, and the amygdala is literally what our, it's like our smeller, okay? Um, so essential oils can be a powerful key to help unlock and release that emotional trauma. And now, um, you know, we've all experienced some kind of trauma some obviously more than others, um, and it has impacted us in different ways. And that emotional trauma is the experience or the, um, even, if it, if you, even if you don't intellectually interpret it one way, your body may interpret it that way. And it has to do with, you know, how you were raised and how your parents were raised and all of those things. Um, and using the oils as a way to kind of uproot those things, move through them and move on is really, really powerful. So especially if you're dealing with children who've had a bad experience in school, the oils can be a really powerful way to help them through that and to move into a new place where they enjoy learning. And that's the goal, right? The goal of um, any educational experience is to give kids an experience that encourages them to want to learn more. Um, and then, you know, that's a whole different topic I could go on and on about, but um, that's where we can use the oils to help kids kind of overcome some of the bad experience they've had and, um, and turn that into good. So um, the amygdala is concerned with emotional and behavioral functions, which is really, you know, what we're talking about when we're talking about oils of the brain, using oils for the brain. Um, and also the amygdala is responsible for strong, effective reactions as fear and anger and emotions associated with sexual behavior, which is really important. And a lot of people have trauma or issues um, relating to those things. So, and anger for sure is something that I think we all deal with. Um, anger, short temperedness, and having tools on hand. Adaptive has been major for me when it comes to, to reducing my response time um, of anger and, and short temperedness, especially the herbal supplements. So I take that daily. Um, adaptive is a beautiful blend of oils that you can use in your diffuser. You can apply it topically. Um, and then we have an herbal complex that is amazing. And, um, I'm telling you, it's, it's really changed my, um, my, my ability to contain, uh, outbursts. <laughs> okay. How do we know what to use? So we're back to chemistry again. Um, when we're talking about essential oils, they are made up of chemical compounds, okay? The chemistry of essential oils can be used to benefit the chemistry of the body. Um, and then I just put a side note there that also we've tried them and they've worked. <laughs> so while it can be really cool to understand the, um, the chemical compounds within the essential oils, um, there's a whole science behind it. There's a whole, I mean, you can, you can get degrees in this and it's not, um, for me, the most interesting. I tried actually Khan Academy, if you've ever heard of it, has a free um, aromatic chemistry course. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna take this. I'm interested finally in chemistry. So I'm gonna sit down and take this. It was, I was, it was whoo, way beyond me. But I have taken some time and I really do understand a lot of the science um, as it applies to our essential oils and to how I want to use them for my own personal well-being. Um, and you can get a lot of that information from places like aromaticscience.org, which is actually put together from doTERRA by doTERRA. Um, doTERRA is 
really, really, really into science and understanding on a research and scientific level why these oils do what they do and what else can we do with them. So we're really on the forefront of figuring all those things out. And it's cool because um, when we go out to see our um, headquarters, there's labs and testing and um, all kinds of research happening. And um, a lot of those are becoming published studies. A lot of published studies you can find on PubMed.gov, which is a government um, set, uh, I don't know, library, I guess, of published medical studies. So tons and tons out there now. Um, all right, you can see on this little circle, and I'm gonna show you another chart that's just a little bit more involved in a minute. I like this one because it's super simple. Um, but you can kind of see, okay, so you've got mints that are high in alcohols and ketones. They are energizing and also calming. So mints are a good choice if you need to be energized or calm down, okay? Which seems like opposites, but they're kind of the same. And also people, um, I wanna mention some kids on the spectrum, particularly kids who have sensory issues. A lot of times the oils will, will work in an opposite way for them. So lavender will be, it can be frustrating for kids who need stimula because it's too calming and they need some stimula. They need something to satiate that need for stimula. So um, mints can be a really great option for kids who are on the spectrum um, or just have sensory, um, sensory issues. Um, and again, the oils, my, my, I know a lot of people, my brother included on the spectrum and, and they, he loves oils. The smell and being able to control what you're smelling is a really powerful tool for these, these kids who need to be able to control their environment. Um, so anyway, looking at the citrus, it's high in monoterpenes, very uplifting and revitalizing. So any oil that has a lot of monoterpenes would be good at uplifting and revitalizing. Spices are high in ethers and esters, which are renewing and intriguing. Interesting. Um, herbs and grasses, high in phenols. They're comforting and soothing. Tree, trees and woods, high in alcohols. They're grounding and balancing. Um, and florals are high in esters, which are calming and reassuring. So you can kind of get a feel for whatever oil you have. You know, you pick up an oil that maybe you, you have, cedar wood, for example, is a tree, a wood. So it has, it's high in alcohol content and it would be grounding and balancing. And it really is, it totally is. And so I'll think of one more example. Um, let's say, well, grapefruit. Grapefruit citrus, um, high in monoterpenes, very uplifting and very revitalizing for sure. Sandalwood, one more. Sandalwood is a floral and is for sure calming and reassuring. Um, okay, so this is just a general, like a general overview. Um, this is, <laughs> is the more detailed and some of you may have seen this before. I love this guy. I have it printed and laminated and there's actually two. So this is one and I'll show you the next one in a second. You can get this from the doTERRA website um, and you would just look, search oil chemistry wheel when you're on the doTERRA website and you'll find these and you can, um, like I said, print them and I've um, laminated them together. So I have a front and a back. Um, and you can see how it really kind of breaks down um, the makeup, the chemical makeup of any of the oils. And you can see if one has a sesqu sesquiterpene back backbone, it's on this one side. If it has a monoterpene backbone, it's on the other side. And um, I don't know a ton about how to describe to you monoterpene versus sesquiterpene, but sesquiterpenes I do know are uh, really good for brain function. Specifically, they're really good at crossing that blood-brain barrier and dealing with neurological, uh, supporting neurological systems. And, um, and so, you know, tend to think of, okay, brain oils over on the left. Now, I would never, like, eliminate all the ones on the right from what I use. In fact, there I see rosemary, which is really powerful for memory. Um, and it falls kind of in between ethers and alcohols, um, which makes sense because it's a woody herb. So I love that, right? Alcohols were woody. Ethers were herbs learning okay anyway so you these are really just great tools especially if you're interested in that science and how um, that all pans out it can be a little overwhelming okay so there's this side and then there's one more side that's not um, it doesn't have oils on it it's like a kind of an overview of the chart so um, so that's a really fun tool to have and I encourage you to to look into that I have a picture here of our kids set um, which um, there is one missing 
Tamer, I think is missing, which is a digestive lunges for kids. Now this set is incredible, specifically when we're talking about dealing with children, because what I love about it, first of all, is it's diluted really heavily so the kids can use them and you don't have to worry about them overusing them. Um, but it helps them choose really, really specific oils for whatever they need. Um, and what I've noticed is that, you know, my kid, my four-year-old, he knows what he wants. He goes, I want the orange one. I'm like, are you sure you don't want the green one? No, I want the orange one. He knows what he wants. And when I put that on him, he feels like he had control over his situation and, and he chose the one that he needed. Um, it's hard to tell on this image, but on the caps, let me see if you can, I don't think that's any better. Yeah, you can kind of see. So I brought Thinker out. Thinker is specifically for the brain. That is like a little brain diagram. And there's brain, two brain um two bodies so stronger and rescue are both kind of whole bodies um stronger is like a kid's on guard and rescue is kind of like a kid's deep blue and then you've got um brave and steady both for the heart and they really are they're very um emotionally supportive um so thinker what's the other brain one calmer are both brain oils um and i mean they really all can be because you can control, you know, your emotional state with these oils, and this, they all smell. Brave is like um, amazing. I love it. It's what we've given our son, who you know he'll have nightmares, he'll be scared at night before bed, and so we'll pull out the brave and like here, let's put some brave on, and, and it makes him feel better and helps him feel more in control of the situation. Okay, let's see what do we have. Okay, and then this is our selection of emotional. It's our emotional set. So doTERRA has developed specifically these blends to help emotions in a, in a really powerful way. Um, and that chart just kind of gives you a brief understanding of what they're all about. Uh, actually, the previous circle that I showed you before the chart um, was of those same emotional oils. Um, Peace is a really powerful one for the brain. It is a really powerful tool for focus, attention, um, kids on the spectrum particularly love peace. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we apply the oils for brain health because it can be a little surprising. So diffusing is obviously really, really good um, because it gets straight into that, you know, amygdala and into those, that limbic system and starts releasing hormones and all kinds of things. Now, the feet can be a really, a, an oddly really good way to use the oils for brain health especially for children, but even for adults. Now, the bottoms of our feet have a lot of trigger points that are um, directly linked to different organs. So that's true of the feet. And the tips of the, the big toe is actually the best place to apply brain supporting oils. So this can be true whether you're trying to calm the brain down. So whether it's like high anxiety, high stress, whether you're trying to get focus and attention. Um, now, and, and this is a crazy, crazy um, simple way to use the oils, but for kids especially, if they're going into school setting, uh, maybe before the school day starts, you can take Intune, which is a blend specifically for focus and helping support focus, and put it on that big toe. Now, I love Intune because um, it does help with brain function and it also lasts a really long time. So some of the oils, you'll put them on and they'll kind of they'll evaporate and dissipate quickly. Uh, Intune will last almost all day. In fact, I use it for deodorant. Um, which helps me feel more focused and smell better. <laughs> um, and it's, it's kind of a strong smell. So especially if your kids don't love it, putting on the feet is a really good option um, because, you know, it's so far from their nose and still they're absorbing and getting the benefits of that particular oil. Um, but yeah, so the, the big toe and actually the thumb as well um, are directly connected with your brain. So um, that's a really easy tip. Um, if you feel like a child is struggling, um, say, whip out your toes, let's put on some oils and see what happens. And that happens three or four times a week at our house, okay? <laughs> it can be a breakdown, a mental breakdown. It can be not absorbing information, whatever the case may be. Um, we rely on the oils pretty heavily. Okay, keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go through some specific oils um, briefly. Let me look at time, make sure I'm not keeping you all night. Okay, lavender. I'm just going to kind of give a shout out. You can see here what I've listed as um, it can be used for. 
um, great for cognitive abilities, dec de decreasing depression, improved score on mathematical tests, increased mental processing and accuracy, lowered anxiety. Again, lots of studies and research on this. I'm just kind of spit spitting it out for you so you know that it's there. Um, but you can find studies on the doTERRA science blog. You can find them on science, uh, or aromaticscience.gov. Um, and then even a lot of times just Googling will pull some stuff up, although I'll be careful because the internet at large is not trustworthy. But anyway, peppermint, um, increased focus for sure, improved alertness. This is something that I keep in the car all the time um, for long road trips, but also just to make it smell better in there and kind of alertness in general. Um, opens airways and invigorates the mind, improves memory, promotes motivation. Frankincense is like a huge, huge uh, major um, favorite for me, for my particular my brain <laughs> and how I, to I told you right there over that pituitary gland and that third eye is where I, I love to apply frankincense. Um, for a long time, I did it every morning. I need to get back in the habit of doing that before I even get out of bed, you know, just on my nightstand, it's there and I put it on before I go to bed before, or before I get out of bed. But it's high in sesquiterpenes. It is, it's got an ancient tradition of being a very spiritually connecting oil and a very grounding oil. Um, in, incredible anti-inflammatory and also really powerful for the immune system. So um, frankincense is a good habit. Frankincense is a real good habit. Cedarwood is kind of like frankincense's little brother. Um, really powerful tool to open those neural pathways up. It is similar to frankincense and it does calm and promote healthy sleep um, and helps reduce anxiety. It's one of the oils in our favorite sleeping blend, which would be lavender cedarwood. Um, or serenity and cedarwood. Um, I prefer lavender and cedarwood, and that's what we use um, to sleep. Now, vetiver is sort of like the intense version of cedarwood. So if you're really struggling to sleep, or if a child is really struggling to focus or calm down, vetiver can be a really, really incredible tool. So um, definitely encourage you to try that. It is in peace, and it might be in thinker as well. Um, I haven't memorized all the oils in this is this yet, but I can't read it either because of my eyes. <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, cedarwood vetiver is the one that I just said. So moving on. Okay, now I just taking a symptom and kind of looking at that symptom, what oils would I recommend? Um, this is what that looks like. So stress would look like being nervous, panicky, fearful, stressed, tense, restless. Um, these are oils that I all all would benefit. Um, that particular need. Balance, any of the citrus oils. Uh, lavender, adaptive, probably would be the first place for me to start with this one right now. Um, calmer, frankincense, clary sage, ylang ylang, copaiba. Copaiba is really powerful. Copaiba is a really powerful oil um, and triggers those CBD receptors. So when you hear people talk about CBD oil, uh, we don't carry CBD. Uh, it's often contains THC, and that's just something doTERRA does not want to cross those lines. Um, but copaiba does trigger those same receptors that, that CBD oil does, so you can kind of get the same benefits, um, and it's way less expensive than good CBD oil. Uh, moving on, memory and learning. So somebody struggling with forgetfulness or speech challenges, memory challenges, um, or having just a general hard time with instruction, these are some really good oils to turn to. Rosemary, lavender, adaptive, calmer, frankincense, clary sage, peppermint, spearmint, and tune thinker. All really good choices. Okay, so hyperactive or impatient. That can look like outbursts. It can look like antsiness. It can look like impatience or short-temperedness. Um, <laughs> I'm like describing myself. No, I'm just joking. Um, now, these are kids who maybe have a diagnosis of like ADD, ADHD, something like that. Um, this can be really beneficial. These oils particularly could be really beneficial for them. So we've got rosemary, balance, uh, wild orange, serenity, peppermint, frankincense, adaptive, DDR prime, cedarwood. Um, I did forget to put peace on there, but peace is also a really good thing for these particular kids. Um, I'm hoping some folks have jumped on here who have um, experiences that we can get to shortly. Um, but before we do that, I want to tell you um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to get your hands on these oils real quick. I'll come back to your questions afterwards. Um, but if you have any questions at all, feel free to text me. I might not answer you tonight, but I'll, I'll answer you as soon as I can. 
Um, but yeah, text me, I'll answer you, um, whether it's about oils to use, um, I'll at least try to direct you into the right, uh, the place to find answers. Um, but now I'm going to talk about purchasing oils and, um, text me about that too. I want to help you get the best price. So I'm going to give you kind of the, like new, the best sort of most popular places to start, but, um, I want to help you start where you're comfortable and where it meets most of your needs. So, um, reach out to me. So first of all, there's three ways to purchase with doTERRA. You have a retail option. Um, that's the most expensive way. And honestly, it's not really, it's not really used. Um, generally you pay retail in professional settings. So like if you went into a spa and they were selling doTERRA oils, you would pay, pay retail there. Um, is, wholesale is the second option, and most people do this. Um, you get the best products for the best prices. It's like shopping at Costco or even Amazon Prime. You pay a yearly fee, um, $35 to start, and you get 25% off of your any order, any order you ever make. There's no uh, minimums, no requirements. If you just order you know, 10 oils to start with, and you pay the $35 fee and you decide you never wanna order again, nothing lost, you still saved 25% on that initial order. Um, now moving on to step number three, once you are a wholesale member, you actually can earn points and free products by taking advantage of our loyalty rewards program. And this is just where you just accrue points. It's like um, kind of like Kohl's cash or um, it's just a, an, a loyalty rewards program. <laughs> Maybe that's why they called it that. Um, but anyway, so you can earn back. So that actually builds over time. It starts at 10% and grows all the way to 30%. So while I get 25% off of my purchases already, I also earn 30% back on my products. So I order at least $100 a month. So for example, I would order $100 worth of products, get a $30 credit added to my cart, and that was all at 25% less than retail. So um, it's really a, your your oils become very inexpensive comparatively, um, considering the purity and how little you need to go a really long way. Um, and you know you're getting the best. So this is an example of a kit that people start with. Um, this is sort of the like, re everything you need for a lifestyle change or shift. Um, and this is like, you know, if you're talking about dealing with, you know, schooling at home for the first time, this is a really nice way to get started because you're just like overhauling your house and getting kind of everybody on the same page um, and kind of detoxifying your life and having a really good variety of oils to help um, with the transition or just to support. Um, but yeah, I love this variety. It's a really good kit really good kit and it does any of the kits that I'm about to show you do waive that $35 fee. So it's just five seventy, dollars um, and there's lots of freebies to get as well, but you can see it has a diffuser. It actually has our supplements, which I should have included the supplements and especially the kid supplements because supporting brain health is super important and, and supplementation is a huge piece of that because our modern diets do not do a good job with this. And it's no one's fault. Even if you're trying hard, um, you, it's really impossible to get enough of the, uh, an omega-3 balance an omega-3, omega-6 balance. And so um, the kids' fish oil has been an incredible tool for kids dealing with like emotional or uh, behavioral issues, um, and even for adults, because it just directly supports the brain. So anyway, um, this comes with the adult supplements, and if your kid can swallow, they can take them too. Um, but we just have some nice kids kind of chewables and um, a liquid and that kind of thing, but um, but also hand foaming hand soap with the on guard, um, lots of on guard products to help you boost your immune system. On guard san hand sanitizing mist, on guard beadlets, which are an incredible way for kids to get a boost of immune support. And um, that would be something if my kid was going to school, I would make sure they're doing before they go to school and when they get home, and they can just swallow those really easily. They're tiny, tiny little uh, capsules. So this is a really good variety and a great great starting point. The next set is called the Healthy Essentials Kit, and they really are some of my, the favorites that I've talked about today a lot. Adaptive, I've talked about a lot today. Lavender, lemon, um, balance, again, also really incredible for mood support and emotional support and brain health. Peppermint. Breathe is a respiratory blend, so it opens those airways up. Digest them for digestive um, symptoms. Um, and a lot of times that nervousness or um, stress presents itself in stomach trouble, so digestion is good for all of those things as well. On guard, we talked about um, deep blue is a, actually an amazing um, pain reliever. 
um, inflammation support, and then Copaiba. So I mean, really, really, really good set. Two forty nine includes that thirty five dollar fee, so you don't have to pay that on the top of it. And um, just an incredible starting point. Plus the diffuser, so you're ready, ready to go, ready to um, make your home environment the best it can be. And then the top, our top 10 oils plus a smaller Brevi diffuser. This is called our Healthy Start Kit. What the difference between this and the last is these bottles are five milliliter versus 15 milliliters. Um, and there's a different selection of essential oils. Um, I do think the last one is a little bit more brain focused if that's what you're going for. Um, but this one is also a really great starting point. It has lavender and has frankincense and peppermint and on guard and um, digest and lemon. And those are all, I mean, just really powerful tools for your brain um, and, and a bunch of other things too. So any of these kits, we do not want you to purchase a single thing and feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get this. It's such an investment. I won't know what to do with it. We will make sure you know exactly what to do with it. Um, getting started with our e-course, we have an e-course developed. It's a simple and safe solutions course, and it walks you through from opening your box to um, getting more deeper in, learning more about you know cleanse opportunities, how to use it for weight, how to use it for emotions, how to use it for um, you know this instead of something you might get at the grocery store. Like we just are really all about making sure you have all the tools at your disposal that you need. Um, we offer community support. We often offer continual education like this, for example. We do trainings live in person when we can. Um, we have a newsletter, we do team calls, we have giveaways and all kinds of ongoing support. So we would love to have you join us. That comes, all of that comes for free um, and um, is super, super valuable. I've tallied it up before and it comes to over $350 worth of really great freebies. Um, so let's see here. Um, really quick overview of the types of people that deal that, that get involved with doTERRA. First, you've got folks who live the wellness lifestyle. Those are our customers. We love them very, very much and uh, wouldn't be here without them. And then we have sharers who are eager to help other folks with essential oils and also get their products paid for. Um, which is where I started. I was like, you know, I don't know if Drew's going to want me to spend $150 a month on this, but if I make a little money, he'll be all right with it. <laughs> Um, so that was my goal when I got started and it could be your goal too. And I love that about doTERRA. That's, there's very few um, essentials that we have to buy that we can do that with. And then building a business, it's to earn income and make an impact. And that is obviously what I do for a living and what I love helping other people do for a living as well. It's a very free lifestyle. It's a very um, satisfying lifestyle. I get to help people. Um, so sharing oils looks like refer a friend and you, you'll receive free oils. If you host a class, you can get an oil keychain, And then for every person that you get to come to the class, you'll get a free, a free oil for your keychain. Um, so talk to me if you're ready to do something like that. It, it's fun for me to share with new people and, um, and you get to benefit from it too and build up your oil collection. Um, and the keychain is super cute. How do I make money? So just to kind of overview what it looks like to even try sampling folks, helping them try essential oils, teaching them how to use them. And you know, you don't have to be an expert. You just have to know the rule is 10% more than the person you're talking to. And, then, and that's in the industry because we, we've learned a lot about online marketing, online sales, online courses. And as long as you know 10% more than the person that you're helping, that's all it takes to help them. Um, enroll people, help them get their own memberships, and then continue to support them. Um, and you can do that through taking advantage of all the things that we have set up. Um, so let's see how much time is involved. To put a kind of perspective on if you really wanted to just get your oils paid for, it might be three to four, five hours a week. I really like to think, you know, one class a month um, is, a, is a good starting point, and that would be about three to five hours a week on average. Um, supplement your income. It could be five to 15 hours a week. So, you know, maybe right now you have time and you can do that. Um, and we can totally help you do that from online as well. Or I want to replace my income and that would look like 15 to 30 hours a week. And it takes, you know, some serious, like hitting, hitting the road, but we can guide you there too. Um, whatever your goals are. Could this work for me? Are you passionate about oils or helping people, natural health in general? Do you love people? And can you follow a system and get things done? So ask yourself those three questions. If you can do those three, or if you already do those three, then you, it's a match. <laughs>
Um, so what's the next step? If you're interested in that side of things um, and you already have a wholesale account, then you just need to upgrade to Wellness Advocate and set up your LRP for 100 PV. Um, if not, then you're just ready to order and get started with the oils, you know, one thing at a time. I totally understand, but you just choose your kit um, and then we'll help you set up the loyalty rewards order if that's the thing that you want to do to continue to get more oils and build your, um, your inventory and your uh, wellness cabinet. Um, and then reach out for help. So I gave you my texting line. I'll give that to you again. It's 919-623-6048, but we will plug you into everything um, and help get you the answers that you want. And then really, if you're ready to get started, then start making a list of folks that you can help. Um, start putting oils on people. <laughs> That's really the ticket. Start giving people a chance to experience the essential oils. That was it. I was gonna show you this kit, but I decided not to, it's too complicated. Um, okay, so I'm gonna exit the screen here and come and see if there's any chat conversation. Um, looks good, yay! Okay, I don't see any questions. Um, but I'll linger here for a little bit. Hey, attendees, and, and um, if anyone has any experiences they wanna share, hey, Kim. Um, and Pam, I know that there are some folks on here who have had experiences with their children or with themselves for whatever reason. Um, and I would love to hear from you and you, for you to share those experiences. Um, but I'll link her here for a little bit if you have questions about getting started. Oh, one last thing. Um, there is a special for everyone that these three oils are 15% off this month, um, which is good. You could add these onto an enrollment order. You can add these on if you're already enrolled to your loyalty rewards and get the 15% off. But Thinker, like I said, we use Sky a lot um, for opening up those brain functions in tune for focus and also my deodorant. Um, and then Motivate. I've, this, this guy has been a lifesaver these past few weeks.